This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says the hypotenuse of a right triangle has a length of 11 units and a side that has a length of 7 units. Which equation can be used to find the length of the remaining side? So whenever you're given the hypotenuse in side lengths of a right triangle, you should automatically start thinking about the Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared where a and b are the sides of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. How do you identify the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle. So this would be c, and according to the problem, that length is 11 units. What's more, we know one of these uh, side lengths is seven units. So I'm gonna let a be this side and it has a length of seven units. I'm gonna let b be this side and it has an unknown length. So I'm gonna call it x units. So let's just plug these values in and solve accordingly. Uh, a is seven, so this is seven squared plus, I let b be x since that side length is unknown. This is x squared equals c is 11, so this is 11 squared. Again, in this case, we're trying to solve for the length of the missing side, which is x squared at the moment. So I'm gonna subtract seven squared from both sides. This crosses out, leaving me with x squared equals 11 squared minus seven squared. Now, in this case, we don't have to work this out any further. Uh, so the correct answer is gonna be x squared equals 11 squared minus seven squared, which is answer choice B. Now, if you had to work this out further, you would take the square root of both sides and so on and so forth, but this one is just B.